LCD and plasma screen TVs can bring presentations to life. Gator's G-Tour eLift case is designed to protect your monitors in a highly functional and attractive package. This video offers instruction on how to safely set up your eLift case. Included inside the eLift are eight adhesive foam strips, two foam cubes, four heavy-duty casters, power supply for the lift mechanism, two mounting slats, a mounting harness, folding case lid, and appropriate hardware. First, on a stable surface, orient the e-lift on its narrow side as to avoid damaging lift handles or storage doors. Using the appropriate supplied hardware, affix the casters to the bottom of the case, making sure to place locking casters on the same short side. Included in your case is the mounting harness. This is the piece that attaches to the lift device. Before attaching the mounting harness, you may want to adjust the sliding mounting brackets. This will make mounting the harness a little easier. Now that the holes of the brackets are matched up with the slots on the harness, center the harness on the lift device. Using the supplied hardware, secure the harness to the mount. After all bolts are tightened, use a wrench and screwdriver to make the final turns. Now that the harness is attached, find the power supply. Connect the power supply to the internal wiring. The wire should run through a compartment that will act as a housing for the power supply. This keeps the wires tightly stowed. You'll notice this compartment includes a trap door, making accessing the power supply easy. After plugging the power supply in, a green LED should illuminate on the adapter box, confirming that the outlet is supplying power. Next, find the appropriate hardware to attach the mounting slats. The slats are the metal brackets that are mounted to the screen itself. Multiple pre-drilled holes and slots allow compatibility with a variety of makes and models. The slots should be used at the top of the monitor. Included in the hardware are four set screws. Secure these to horizontal tabs on the mounting slats, thread side up. At this point, just thread them until the screw is flush with the tab. Now that the mounting slats are properly secured to the display screen, you will need to activate the lift. Raise the lift until the mounting harness is fully exposed. For the next step, Gator recommends you get a helper. Screens are expensive and heavy. You don't want to drop it now that you are so close to protecting it with your e-lift case. The mounting slats are designed to mate with the mounting harness by hooking them on the top rail. After the screen is resting on the harness, Tighten the set screws that you just put into the tabs on the mounting slats. Once the monitor is secured to the harness, use the lift once again to bring the screen to the desired height. The case includes an automatic shutoff switch. This prevents the actuator from running accidentally when the case is closed. The final touch is added by placing the folding lid on top of the case and is secured by the butterfly latches for a clean presentation. Once again, the automatic shutoff switch is engaged ensuring the video screen does not retract while the folding lid is in place. Before the monitor is taken on any road trips, Gator suggests utilizing the supplied adhesive foam strips to create a custom cushioned interior to cradle your specific screen. Once the foam is in place, the monitor is safe for travel. The case cover has two heavy-duty retractable inset handles to make lifting an easy task for two people. The power supply is easily stowed away behind the trap door. Just tuck the cords away and you are ready to get the show on the road.